Hi, everybody. My name is Brent, and I am with Colorado State University's Sleep and Metabolism Lab. And today I'm going to be presenting on ActaWatch analysis, and I will be covering Actigrams as well as the ActaWare software to access the Actigrams, and then how to hand score rest intervals and then collect the data. So with this, the ActaWatch is uh, what you see here on the screen and it measures light and activity to give us uh, measurements on subjects sleep and wake cycle. So it does this with an accelerometer and a photometer and the photometer can measure um, several different wavelengths of light. And this device has been validated against the polysomnograph, which is the gold standard for sleep measurements. And so it's a great device, especially since unlike the polysomnograph, it can be taken home so this is great for outpatient as well as inpatient studies. And you can use this for the, the sleep measurements that the device can give you, but you can also use this just to watch for subject compliance in the studies. So we use this for run-ins to our studies to make sure subjects are adequately um, adhering to their sleep cycle. All right, so going on, we're gonna get into the program here. Oops, one sec, exit out. All right, so it's this Philips ActiWare 6 software program, and you're going to need to use a computer that has this downloaded with an active license key. So you can just open up the program. This is the same program that was used to initialize uh, the watch as well as collect the data too. So you can communicate with the watch, but we're gonna start from the fact that the um, data has already been downloaded. So the data is downloaded and stored onto the computer and we're gonna uh, start from there. All right, so uh, when we get into the program, uh, you can see over here in the database viewer, um, this, is, this is already opened up the previous database that was opened here. And you can use an ActiWatch database for a study, which is what you're seeing here. So um, each of these uh, SC004 or any of these uh, faces are denoting a subject. Or, and I've also seen databases use per subject basis as well. So you can create a new database, each subject, it just depends on how you initialize the watch. But what you're looking right at right here is, um, is a studies database with numerous subjects. And with this, if you need to go and open up your file, you can just go up to file and then go to database and then go to open. And then you have a file finder and you can search for it. Um, this is a file I'm gonna open up right here. And it's the latest uh, database as well. So now it's loaded. So it should load your, uh, load your subjects here. Um, so once you uh, have your database opened up and you can go and scroll and find whichever subject you're looking for and click that plus button. That's gonna open up the subjects and then you're gonna have visibility to the recordings. So then you can choose whichever uh, recording is of interest and you should see an option for new analysis. So you can double click on new analysis. And here you have the actigram. So um, this is the auto scored actigram that you're looking at here. And we're going to go over hand scoring. I'm gonna give you a brief run through of what you're looking at right now. Uh, so on the top, you have a full 24 hour day. You can see that you can um, denote um, sunlight and um, nighttime as well. And um, you have midnight right here in the middle. On the left side, you have all the days of the recording. So uh, depending on how, however long the recording was, it, this might be a more minimized actigram. And I personally, when I see this, I see a lot of data. So I like to go up here to the actigram length and just change it to something shorter, which I, whatever you like, I like five, um, five days. So uh, this is what you first see when you open up the actigram. 
on a new analysis. And um, first things first, the highlighted, uh, the highlighted regions you're seeing, what my cursor is under right here is an excluded um, interval. And this excluded interval is when the subject has the watch off their wrist. Uh, and the light blue is that auto scored rest interval. So this is what we are actually going to be hand scoring here. Um, all these black little peaks, that's activity. And then you can see these lines, which is denoting light. So these are different wavelengths of light, red, green, blue, and white. And then the bars underneath here. So you have purple and then you have red. So the purple is also just in accordance with that excluded interval. And the red is um, denoting activity. And then if you don't see any, any color underneath it, um, then that is uh, denoting rest. So uh, when we get in here, um, I first like to just save it. So um, save my new analysis. You can do save or save as. You have the yellow highlighted region here. And you can just type in whichever analysis, that whichever standardized analysis name you want to use for the study. Uh, we tend to use subject code underscore, and then we do the date. So um 21 120 and then whoever the scores initials afterwards i'll just save that here okay so um now that i have my saved actigram and the analysis that i'm working on as i'm working on this i can constantly go up and then uh, click the save button here as well. So uh, always remember to save it throughout. It's especially important on something like this when there's several weeks of, of data. If it's just a few days, you know, you could do that fairly fast. Um, so when we're getting ready to score, we actually are only going to be looking at, um, as for indicators, the white light and the activity. So that's what you're seeing under here at visibility. So what I did was just adjust um, just the actigram to where we're only viewing that white light and the activity. The next thing I want to do is just make it a little bit easier to see. So I put the max activity at 500 and I put the max white light at 1000. And then there we go. So um, uh, so here we have the actigram that we're going to, that the way, here's that, how the actigram looks, how, when we're going to score it. Um, but when, in order to score it, we need to remove the intervals that they've made. So I just went up here to interval and I'm going to do clear all rest intervals. Um, we don't need to do anything with those excluded intervals because the watch detects being off the wrist with high accuracy. So um, after I have this, it is completely ready to be scored. And now you might be asking just exactly how do I score it? So the, we, we look at a variety of factors here. There's three and they are in an order of importance as well. So we look at event markers and call-ins first and then the activity count and then the white light intensity. One of the reasons why we don't look at the, why the white intensity is um, the least important is because there's just a high variability. Um, obviously, the uh, sunrise and sunsets changing year round, and some people um, sunlight can get into their rooms easier, so you might see that light data skewed. Also, something that's very important to note too is uh, the fact that. If a subject is wearing a long sleeve shirt and they're covering up that uh, photo sensor, then you might be skewing the data and they might be in an area where there is light, but on the act of watch, it's showing there's no light. So for that, for that reason, the activity is just uh, a little bit better in determining the rest intervals. And we'll be going through that here. So when I come in, I see and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this uh, blue tick mark here is the event marker. And on the watch, they have subjects have a button and they should be informed 
to hit that event marker every time they go to bed and every time they wake up. So you can see these two here, and it is much easier to score when you have these event markers. Uh, if you don't, um, we have some other criteria that we use to determine that onset, onset and offset. But when you do, uh, it's just it's just much easier um, to score, and uh, and you feel like you're scoring with a little bit more accuracy and less subjectivity.